it was it was crazy, say, but like you know, it's Glee and it's a big show, I guess. Well, it is. I don't yeah. know why I said it, guess. So, you know, so basically, um, you know, I want to go back to uh, to Brad Falchuk's uh, comment, saying, "Who are you to spoil something talented people have spent months to create? I hope you are qualified to do something besides work in entertainment." Do you feel that that comment? That comment got to me. That 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 that's the comment that got that got under your skin because definitely. I mean, it, is it because of how hard things are to begin with, and 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 now he's just going to make them harder on you? Um, you know, what do you what do you have to say to that, or even the casting agencies who you have worked for, or or who who send you out on on extra work? Um, any any response from them? Well, I'll take one question at a time here. Um, concerning Brad, yeah, that's certainly the um, the f that's that first the first tweet was the one about um, who were wait no it was the uh, whatever one it was about the entertainment that one definitely like I hope you have a backup or whatever yes that definitely got to me because not only you're right is it hard as it is but you know he he seems like he's a powerful man and who i have no idea what what powers he has you know he's hooked up with fox and ryan murphy you know so yeah i was worried for my job for my career and um regarding the casting agencies i was with uh i'm well still currently with uh cut above casting which is which is a different one um uh they suspended me for two weeks as a result of this. Yes. And then Sandy Alisi, who is Glee's casting, who they go to specifically to find extras for them, um, they said, I will never ever work for them again. Not, I mean, obviously not in Glee, but in anything they do. Um, and then. So they're really upset. They're very upset. And once again, to reiterate, you weren't even on set for that episode. I was not on episode. set. I was. I have not been on their set since but, October. Which you know, which which for me, you know, being a journalist mm -hmm. as well. Yes. Like I said, how you know how are you any different doing what you did? How is it any different than all of these other news agencies reporting what you did? You were reporting what somebody else did on your Twitter it's account. It's not any different. You know, and and they they are spreading it to more fans, and they're uh, once again um, putting my name out there. Well, let me ask negatively. you this: non-disclosure agreement. Did, when you worked on when you work on anything, is is it common practice for extras to sign non-disclosure agreements? I I don't. I don't believe it's in there, no, because recently um, I, I read a report that Glee doesn't actually have it in theirs, okay. and so they're tightening it up on every show. As a result, as, as a, result a result of this, they're tightening because it up on Because I shows. can tell you, every time I go to uh, an extra, you know, I'm, I'm going to work on different shows, what they give you is um, a voucher and you know, a voucher, you fill out your stuff, yeah. and that's how you get paid. And then they, they give you an I-9, which is just to prove who you are. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. But they never give you a non-disclosure agreement? No. Okay. Not to my knowledge. Interesting. No. I mean, do you have, let me, let me ask you this, do you have a, a comment or any remarks for either, you know, Brad Falchuk, the Glee fans, your fans? Because, you know, I've, checking out the internet, you've got your own set of fans now. Well, uh, I'll start with my fans. Um, I truly, truly, like, I, I love them. I love them, and I, I think it's amazing that people, you know, they see it, even though seeing the story the wrong way, even though it's, you know, it's portrayed that I did this horrible thing, that they still defend me. They still think, you know, hey, people make mistakes, and I think that's amazing, and they support me, and they, they make me smile, you know? Um, to the Gleeks, as they call themselves, um, I do apologize that it got out so far, and that's why it's really ruined it for everybody, because it got to media, it, you know, Brad Falchuk said something, you know, I, I, I apologize that it got that far, I do. Um, to Brad, 
I'm, I'm mixed emotions. I I respect him for who he is, but um, I really don't, you know, if he wouldn't have said anything. You think he kind of, do you think possibly that maybe he said what he did and he did what he did to spark more publicity for the show and for the episode? Is that, is that a possibility? That definitely is a possibility. And then, hey, you know what? Yeah. Then I just helped them get publicity. And but, I mean, do you feel, like, any any sense of, like, responsibility? Like, you know, I mean, people, they watch television to escape. And right. they watch Glee, and they want to escape, and, and, and they, they, they have a vested interest in these characters. Right, and they don't want to know the spoilers. And they don't want to know the spoilers. They right. watch it to enjoy it. Do you feel like you have any responsibility to, to as a lot of, a lot of the people on the Internet are saying, keep your mouth shut? You have no right to to ruin it for everyone else. Um, yes. Yes. I, I, I mean, I'm not trying to say what I did was right um, if it came off that way. I, I do apologize for saying that. Um, it's just... Like I said, I, I, I didn't mean to ruin it for people. I was posting it to the people I was talking about who want to know this type of stuff. It was never supposed to get any bigger than that, and it did. And, and I do apologize for that. I really, really do. From the bottom of my heart, I apologize to those who didn't want to know, who wanted that surprise. Alright, well let me, let me ask you this. Um, just a final question here. What's next for Nicole Crowther? <laughs> who knows, really. Um, I'm hoping... Your SAG card? Do you have your SAG card yet? I don't. I'm a, I'm an AFTRA member. Uh -huh. I'm working on getting a SAG card. Are you SAG um, eligible? I'm so, uh, almost. Okay. Almost. Um, but Agent, also manager, none of that stuff yet. Nothing yet uh -huh. because I went. I'm going. I uh, attended uh, LA Feature Film Academy, and uh, I actually came out here to be a director. I'm okay. an aspiring director and actress, and um, and I'm actually currently. Uh, in the process of uh, pre-production of a feature film as well. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I still have st other things to focus on, but I still am an aspiring actress out here, and to have my name just blown to bits where nobody's going to want well, to work with me. look at Lindsay. You know, her name was blown to bits, and she's... But where's she working? She's booking the Gotti film, it looks like. Playing, playing John Gotti's yeah, daughter, I, I think. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I get it, I get it. Yes, but yes. In, okay. this, in, this, in this town, you know what? As they say, any publicity is good publicity. You didn't intend for it, but... Right, it happened. You know, but here it is, and now, now here you are doing interviews. You've got people calling you. You know what? For every lover, you're going to have a hater. And of course, it is, and, it and, is, I, and it's it understandable it each... You know, and I, back to Brad, I, you know, it's understandable... What he said, because he works, you know, they all work so hard. The but cast. he's he's so much bigger than you in this town. Right. He should just. He yeah. Yeah. I I just I don't think it was handled the right way, but I I didn't handle it the right way either in the beginning. Yes. So. So you've owned up to your end, and let's hope that Brad Faltzer can own up to his end. Yes, let's hope that. Right. Yes. All right, Nicole. Thank you. Yeah, very thank much. you. Appreciate it. Good. And I think. That should...